there have been some amazing um, in my life there have been some amazing experiences you might say glimpses of um, synergy and unity that I had never felt before ever in my life and uh, those are worthy of talking about um, on October 30th when I was standing in the kitchen and the boys were doing quiet activities Treat Ryan and Tage were doing um, activities, silent activities and I called them up one at a time to make their sandwiches and there was this feeling of collaboration with my children. I think it, it's a mother archetype, this feeling of collaborating with, at a human level, a mother with her children, and at a cosmic galactic level, the Divine Mother um, with her children. And what I experienced was this welling up, almost a cornucopia of generous, exuding ecstasy, just pouring off of me like a fountain, like 360 degrees of a fountain. And every water stream of that fountain was connecting in with my child creation and nourishing that piece of creation and then that piece of creation was feedbacking this love and appreciation back into me and it was this 360 degree coursing giving and receiving of appreciation love gratitude and unity in the field um, just cascading back and forth um, and I felt myself in my finite form as Sarah Hope Adams I, I felt simultaneously Sarah Hope Adams in this time-space vehicle and I felt myself as one with all that is and that my oneness back in the unity of Source Consciousness was feeding back into my limited self and delivering nourishment to everyone in this quintessential symphony, I guess. It was like every, it's making me warm talking about it, it could be my hot flashes, but it was like every instrument in the orchestra was receiving a tonal command from the core of the center of creation. And I was one of the instruments, and yet I was also the mother of all creation um, in this experience. And that happened on October 30th. Um, and it happened again on November 1st. So it was, it was an amazing um, experience. And I recently found from one of my main teachers, Lisa Renee, that the heart brain or heart mind spark, which is in the center of the head, is coming online right now. And that this heart mind spark gives us a connection to our monadic self, which is our ninth dimensional self. And that ninth dimensional self links us straight into the core of creation. Um, so I think that perhaps that heart mind coming online is responsible for that amazing experience. But I, I, I know. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's, it feels good to describe it. I think when really cool experiences happen, if we can describe them and, and ride on the joy and ecstasy of those glimpses, that those glimpses can kind of fuel us <laughs> with jet fuel so that when we're in the darkness, when we're in the density, we can remember, ah, yes, I've got my jet pack on. I know where I'm going. Um, so I think that's why I'm sharing today. So. With the eclipse today, I'm feeling a lot of density and heaviness, and I just wanted to share some of those um, uh, energies of synergy, beauty, and um, revelation, because I know that the energy we're clearing in this eclipse is going to leave us at a higher state of integration, at a deeper state of access 
to our multidimensional selves to live empowered, joyful, free, happy um, lives in oneness with our beloveds, revealing ever more synergy and synchronistic connections, leading us to create a more and more positive, amazing future as we move towards December 21st. So, yep, that's all for now. Sarah Adams signing off November 13th, 2012. Mm -hmm. Love to everyone.